have now ended since the Sabbath of the third quarter of the moon of the fifth biblical lunar month Abib 22nd Ab I keep saying Abib Ab 22nd 6006 and I am on the street this evening to acknowledge and to welcome in your set apart Sabbath of the fourth quarter of the moon For the fifth biblical month, Ab, 29th, 6006, the sky is all beautiful this evening, there are shades of pink, purple, gold, yellow, blue, and gray. Yawa has decorated the sky this evening to put a distinction between the six working days of the week 
and his holy set apart servant. Thus the heavens on the earth were finished, and all the host of them. And on the sixth day, Yahweh ended his work which he has made and rested on the seventh day. Thus, Yahweh blessed the seventh day and hallowed it and set it apart to be holy. Genesis 2 verses 1 to 3 Yes, this evening, at the arrival of Yawas, set apart Sabbath of the fourth quarter of the moon for the fifth biblical month, I just want to pause to give Yahweh our Elohim thanks and praise for his great creation. I want to thank y'all that despite the fact that we have been misled and have given false teaching, he in his love and mercy has kept us and, in no, and is now revealing to us that Saturday nor Sunday is not his Sabbath. And so this evening, I pray that the sweet spirit of Yahweh will direct us, will teach us, and will draw us to him. And grant that we will be obedient to his laws and remember his Sabbath day to keep it holy. Yes, the sky is very beautiful from afar. I wish I could capture those colors. But Yahweh set apart Sabbath is here and I am on the street to welcome your Sabbath and to acknowledge your Sabbath and also to proclaim to the world that Saturday nor Sunday is not Yahweh's Sabbath. Saturday and Sunday are both invention of Constantine of Rome. It was Constantine who removed Yahweh Sabbath from the moon faces and fixed Saturday as the Sabbath in the year AD 300 
and 50. There is nothing new under the sun. Israel have seen the great wonders of Yahweh. Yahweh brought them through the Red Sea. Through and in the wilderness. Yet, when Yahweh brought them manna from heaven and commanded them to keep the Sabbath, many still went out on the Sabbath day to gather manna. Despite the fact that Yahweh commanded them to double, to gather double portion, to bake and to roast and to boil and to store for the Sabbath day. This evening, I am about to just read us a few things I won't say much I'm just I'm just saying that this is the fourth and last Sabbath of the fifth biblical month and after the ending of the Sabbath the month of Ab has 30 days so it will be the day of the dark moon followed by the new moon when a new month will begin. Yes, I'm just going to read a few a few verses for us. Yes, we now know that it is the new moon that determines Yahweh's set apart Sabbath. We now know and we are told that the Sabbath is a sign between Yahweh. And his people. Ezekiel. Twenty. Ezekiel twenty. And I'm going to read. Ezekiel 20. Verses 12. Moreover also. I gave them my Sabbaths. To be a sign between me and them. That they might know. That I am Yahweh. Who sanctifies them? But the house of Israel rebelled against me in the wilderness. They did not walk in my statutes, and they despised my judgments, which, if a man does, he will live by them. And my Sabbaths they greatly polluted. Then I thought, I will pour out my fury upon them in the wilderness to consume them. But I acted for my name's sake, that my name should not be polluted before the heathen in whose sight I brought them out. So I lifted up my hands. Bowing 
an oath to them in the wilderness that I would not bring them into the land which I had given them flowing with milk and honey which is the glory of the land for they despised my judgments they did not walk in my statues and polluted my sabbaths because their hearts went after their God's Elohim. Nevertheless, my eyes spear them from destroying them. I did not make an end of them in the wilderness, but I said to their children in the wilderness, do not walk in the statues of your fathers, nor observe their judgments, nor defile yourself with their God's Elohim. I am Yahweh your father. Walk in my statues and keep my judgments and do them and hollow my Sabbaths. Make holy my Sabbath, and there will be a sign between me and you, so that you may know that I am Yahweh, your father. Well, it tells us, despite Yahweh's plead, Israel continued to pollute his Sabbath. And that is why Yahweh did not allow those who left Egypt to enter Canaan save Caleb and Yahshua. Yahshua. Yahweh's Sabbath is essential to him. Yahweh's Sabbath is a sign between Yahweh and his people. I saw something that I would like to read, if I may. That is if it's the right thing. Let me look. Afraid. Yes. Yes, I'm going to read something for us. And I'm going to read. It says... Isaiah 14. Verses 12 to 14. I'm going to see what that says. And um, 12 to 14. How have, how you have fallen? Is this right? Yeah. Oh, all right. Isaiah 14, 12 to 14. How? Have you fallen from heaven, O Halalel, Lucifer? I can't call it Venus, child of light. How are you cut down to the ground? You who weaken the nations. For you have said in your heart, I will ascend to the heavens. I will raise my throne above the stars of Yahweh. I will sit in the highest place on the mountain of the congregation. I will ascend above the heights 
of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. Yes, it is the plan of Gabriel, who is called Satan, to be like Yahweh. And he has caused men to follow him instead of following Yahweh, the creator of the heavens and the earth. I'm just going to read this and I hope it will be a blessing to myself and to us. The word congregation in the text is the word mo, mo edim, which means appointed times. A mountain of in scripture is symbolic of a controlling power or an auto, auto, auto I can't even, authoritarian power or presence. It was satria desire satra desire oh i guess that's gabriel or satan desire to sit upon the mount of the appointed times the ruler the rulers of the appointed times rule from the east to the west but satra would overthrow them and replace them from the north to south, becoming the king of the north, controlling the powers of heaven. What Satra said is that he would control the calendar and the appointed times. He did it through the pagan and papal Rome no wonder he is the father of lies john 8 44 or yakaman 8 44. the name saturn shall the is pronounced satur but it has only four letters star the N is not pronounced. The name carries the apocalyptic number 666. S equals 0. T 400. U 006. R 200 equals 66. From he shop to Babylon. Okay. There is no excuse for anyone in taking a position that there is no more truth to be revealed and that all our SDA exposition of scripture are without error. The fact that certain doctrines have been held as truth for many years by our SDA people is not proof that our SDA idea are unfallible. Age will not make error into truth and truth can afford let me see this properly and hmm, edge will not make error into truth and truth can afford to be fear oh no true doctrine 
we lose anything by close investigation, review and herald 12 to 20, 1892. All right, don't want to be too long. Yes, it says clever counterfeit. The Sabbath question is to be the issue in the great final conflict in which all the world will act a part. Men have honored Satan principles above the principles that rule the heavens. They have accepted the spirit, the superior Sabbath which Satan has exalted as the sign of his authority. But Yahweh has set his seal upon, upon his royal hmm, upon his royal requirements. Each Sabbath institution bear the name of its author as in effect in as in a fixable <laughs> understood this Yahweh has called us to uplift the standard of his downtrodden Sabbath how important then that our example is the Sabbath keeping should be right Saturday carries the name of Shitan, the adversary. A counterfeit must resemble the origin, original. Sunday cannot be rightly called the Sabbath because it was near the seventh day of the week. It is a spurious day of worship, but never the seventh day does it look like the sabbath to you okay well this is your sabbath of the fourth quarter of the moon and it is the last sabbath of the fifth biblical month Let us remember that Yahweh's Sabbath is a sign between Yahweh and his people. And Yahweh's Sabbath bears his seal. At the moment, Yahweh is sealing those who are his. And his Sabbath is the great his great seal think it is revelation seven verse verse three says hurt not the earth nor the sea nor the trees until we have sealed the servants of our living Elohim in their far forehead let us remember Yahweh's Sabbath to keep it holy. Let us bear in mind that it is the new moon that determines Yahweh's Sabbath. Says Isaiah 66:23. Twenty two and twenty three. For as the new heavens and the new earth which I will make shall remain before me, says Yahweh, so will your seed and your name remain. And it shall come to pass 
that from one Sabbath, that from one new moon to another, and from one Sabbath to another, shall all flesh come to worship before me, says Yahweh. And they that will, and they will go forth and look up on the carcasses of the men who have transgressed against me. For their worms will not die, nor will their fire be quenched, and they will be an abhorrence to all flesh. Yes, let us remember Yahweh's Sabbath day to keep it holy. Let us be aware that Saturday was fixed as the Sabbath by Constantine and it does not bear Yahweh's seal. Neither is it a sign between Yahweh and his people. Let us be obedient so that we will eat the good of the land. Our slave masters have tell us that we will be going to heaven. But it's not biblical. It is the land that Yahweh promised to give to Abraham and Isaac and Jacob. That is the land which we will inherit. Yes, it says, he that obey will eat the good of the land. It says, if he be willing and obedient, he will eat the good of the land. But if he refuse and rebel, he shall be devoured with the sword. Let us not continue to build up the kingdom of Gadriel, Satan. Let us build up the kingdom of Yahweh and rebuild the old ways places. We are to be, rebuild the old ways places and become repairer of the bridge. It says those and those who will rebuild the old ways places, you will raise up the foundations of many generations. You will be called the repairer of the bridge, the restorer of the street to dwell in. If you turn away your foot from breaking the sand,